Hi, and welcome to this short video from Virtual Devon, highlighting how you can use 360 images to really spice up your Facebook page, increasing the likes and the engagement. The end result will look something like this, a beautiful HD image with which the user can interact, panning around your venue or your location, choosing the elements that they'd like to see, zooming in and zooming out, and most importantly, spending a lot more time looking around and engaging with your brand. So how does that help your business? Well, with the increasing volumes of content coming up on Facebook, it's important to try and stand out with something unique. The 360 images are quite new to Facebook, only adopting the technology in the last year or so, and they're also quite particular about the image formats they accept. So you won't see too many appearing on your Facebook timelines. However, the ones that do gain significantly more interaction than traditional images. You can see this one image for the River X Cafe had a reach of almost 10,000 and considerably more likes, shares and comments than they would ever get with a traditional image format. So how do you go about creating and posting one of these images? Well, at Virtual Devon, we'll take all the images and provide them to you in a format that's ready to go. So I'm just going to give you a quick example of the posting process. If we take the Lestuaire Restaurant Facebook page, I'm posting here as a guest, as Virtual Devon. I then simply add a comment, uh, around. And the difference between posting a 360 and a traditional video is I need to drag and drop the image onto the timeline. So I simply pull it across. This small globe icon will then appear and the image will start to load. To save a bit of time, I've actually already started the process here and completed uploading a 360 image with a comment. The next stage, though, is to actually edit the 360 itself. So clicking on the pencil icon, you're actually able to choose the start point for your image. So with this one, I'll just pan around um, and show off the view and some of the seating. And click Save. Whilst that's processing, <clears throat> the advantage of being able to do this is that obviously one image can be used on multiple occasions. So depending on the content or the context, you can change the start view, but still have the same fantastic impact of using a 360 image on Facebook as opposed to traditional media. So once complete and once loaded, we simply click Post. I'll then pan down so we can actually see how this looks. And there you have it, a 360 image, which the users can pan around, and guaranteed to increase the levels of engagement, share and likes on your Facebook page.